everyone and welcome back. Lucky me, I've got the fabulous job of sharing our very first virtual of 2025. So let's get started and take a look at this week's picture. What can you see? Is there anything you like or dislike? Do you have any questions? Use the clues in the picture and some of the questions that you've asked to make a prediction as to what could be happening in the news this week. Let's take a look at this week's story. Birdwatch is an annual UK-wide citizen science project held every January inviting people to gather data which supports the work of scientists. Both the Big Garden and the Big Schools Birdwatch offer people the chance to count birds visiting gardens, playgrounds or school outdoor spaces. This simple activity helps identify bird populations and the most common species. The data collected then helps scientists monitor bird numbers and deduce whether any species are in decline. How does this week's story make you feel? Do you feel curious to find out more about the Big School's bird watch? Or maybe you're happy or thankful that the RSPB organise an initiative that you can get involved in. Whatever your initial emotion response, now might be a good time to pause and share your thoughts and feelings with the people around you. Let's look at this week's big question. Is it our responsibility to protect local wildlife. This week's poster shows people taking part in Birdwatch. Is this something that you are already aware of? Have you taken part before? Let's find out more about Birdwatch 2025. What is Birdwatch? The Big Garden Birdwatch and the Big School Bird Watch are annual events organised by the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, or RSPB, with the aim of using data collected by people at home and in schools to help scientists establish bird numbers and locations. The first Big Garden Bird Watch was 45 years ago. Last year, over half a million people looked out for birds, making Birdwatch the largest citizen wildlife survey in the UK. Birdwatch is a unique collective effort which helps build a picture of how different birds are doing. How does it work? You could pause now to look at the step-by-step -step instructions of how to take part in Birdwatch. In 2023, the top five birds spotted in the Big School's Birdwatch were Blackbird, Wood Pigeon, House Sparrow, Starling and Magpie. Talk about the impact that Birdwatch could have, both on local habitats and for the people who take part. Think about your local area, both at your home and at school. What wildlife can you find there? Do you feel it's important to protect wildlife? And what are some of the ways we can do that? Aside from our own actions, 
Who else do you believe has a part to play in ensuring habitats and wildlife are protected? Take one last look at this week's picture and big question and share your thoughts. Reflection. Wherever you live, becoming more aware of local habitats can help you understand and support the wildlife within them. This week's interesting question. Okay, so during the big garden bird watch last year, so that's 2024, which bird do you think was spotted the most? Tricky one. Hmm. It was actually the house sparrow and 1,442,300 sightings were reported of this bird. And the house sparrow has actually been the most commonly spotted bird for 21 years in a row. I wonder which bird will be spotted most this year. As always, we really love to see what you're up to in school. So please do share any of your thoughts, ideas or challenges, or maybe you have a prediction for the most common bird that might be spotted this year. So definitely get in touch and let us know. And I'll see you next time. Bye.